Hey everybody, behind me is a Geo Metro, which I'm converting to be an electric car. I'm just chipping away at it, uh, working on it as I can, paying for parts as I can. Uh, so far, I've spent about $1,000 on the entire project, including uh, buying the car, getting batteries, getting the controller. I've got uh, a lot of cabling and things like that out of uh, forklifts and some junkyards and things like that. Um, one thing that's been bothering me, though, is that right here I've got a dent and yeah, it's just been pestering me and I'd like to get it out of there and I figured I'd wanted to do some other things like uh, where the gas tank used to be put in a uh, power connection so I can just run an extension cord to there charge all the batteries at once that sort of a thing so since I'm working in that part of the car anyways I uh, thought I'd take care of that dent so here's how I'm doing that now the first thing is that I've already uh, disconnected the batteries so that I could uh, take those out of the trunk and give myself some room to work. So there we have the batteries out of the trunk. Um, they're out of the way where I'm not going to trip on them or anything. The next thing I did was uh, pull out the back seat. Now what's nice about this, now this is just the bottom part, not the backrest part. Because uh, it's very easy to take just the back part of the seat out. There's uh, kind of these wiry loops that just have one screw, so all you have to do is uh, take out that screw. And then on the bottom, there's kind of these two wire clips on the front, and uh, those just untuck, and you pull this whole thing straight out of the car. Real easy, just with those two screws. So once you get the bottom of the back seat out, you can get at these uh, little trim holders, which is just like a little peg that goes into a, a split piece that expands when you push it. For the life of me, I can't figure out how to get these things out without breaking them. I figure I'll just go to the auto parts store and buy some replacements when I'm all done. Uh, so you pop those out. And then on the back edge here, we've got a number of screw holes. Uh, about four screws you take out back here. So once you have those four screws in back taken out and you get those other little uh, body trim pieces, you should be able to just disconnect, wiggle out, get the uh, seat belts off there. And then that whole piece pulls right out. Now looking here uh, where the dent is, the downside is that if we look where it is on the uh, other side here, it's right behind that support bracket. Uh, it's right behind this. So I think all I can really do is just uh, put my hand behind there and, and push. And it's pretty lightweight metal, so uh, we'll see if that works. Well, I think that was the uh, world's easiest dent repair. Uh, the other thing that I would take away from this is never lean against a Geo Metro because you could dent it, or at least if you lean in the wrong spot. Uh, so remember, don't be afraid to take your car apart and fix things yourself.